Good evening. Thanks for joining us. More is being learned about the Parkland, Florida high school shooter while calls for gun reform are growing louder. The Florida Sun Sentinel newspaper spoke with the family that took Nicholas Cruz into their home after his mother's death. Quote, we had this monster living under our roof and we didn't know. Kimberly Sneed told the paper we didn't see this side of him. Just five days prior to the shooting, Kimberly Sneed had taken Cruz to her own therapist. The Sneeds, gun owners themselves, say they made Cruz put his guns in a safe, insisting they didn't know until the massacre on Wednesday that he kept a key. The principal of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Ty Thompson, posted an emotional video to the school community. I promise you, I will hug each and every one of you as many times as you need. And I will hold you as long as you need me to for all 3,300 of you and your families, and we will get through this together. As classmates were laid to rest this weekend, some of those students announced a national march on Washington to demand action on gun control. March 24th, in every single city, we are going to be marching together as students begging for our lives. At this point, you're either with us or against us. Earlier today, I spoke via Skype with another survivor. We've had enough. These... Like, we are the generation that, like, was born after Columbine. We have lived with this our entire lives. And now it happened at my school. I spent two hours in a closet just hiding, and I'm done hiding. We are done hiding. America's done hiding. The students have their work cut out for them. Senator James Lankford said he was not opposed to stronger background checks, but resisted calls to ban certain weapons. Uh, I have right. individuals in my neighborhood that own an AR-15 that doesn't make it a dangerous neighborhood or them dangerous individuals. It's the, it's the individual themselves uh, becomes the issue, not the weapon that they're holding. The president is scheduled to hold what's being called a listening session with high school students later this week. For more, I'm joined by Jason Deeran, who has been covering the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting for the Associated Press. He joins us via Skype from Parkland, Florida, just outside the high school. Jason, uh, we're used to seeing vigils and candlelight vigils and so forth, but what we saw yesterday was very different. I think what we've seen this time is, you know, the morning after the shooting, while there were still bodies inside the school, uh, students at vigils and in TV interviews really started venting their anger towards the politics of gun control um, and wanting to see change. And I've talked to many 16-year-olds um, and 17-year-olds out here, both from this high school and others in the region. And there's a lot of fear about the future, about their safety, and that's also turning into anger and in some cases some political activism activism, which we're seeing. And this is different from other shootings that you've covered, like the Las Vegas shooting or the Orlando Pulse nightclub? Not yet. In all of the shootings that I've covered, uh, there have always been calls for gun control afterwards. What's different this time is that the victims were in high school. Um, they're uh, of an age now where they feel comfortable going on camera and, and speaking about their feelings about gun control and their fear for going back to school. And so I think what's different this time is we're seeing the people actually affected from this school and also other schools in the region and the country speaking out in a way that we really hadn't seen before it from a, a big group of young people. Uh, you know, there have been calls for gun control, of course, after any other mass shooting. But unlike um, Newtown, where the victims were so young, I think we see that the people at this school are of an age where they feel comfortable speaking out and, and getting politically active. And, and that's the difference. Whether it makes a difference in the long run, that will remain to be seen. We still have to see. So is the momentum different or their ability to organize different? I think so. Uh, the momentum, it's still you know pretty soon after the shooting and things are still raw. So you're seeing a lot of that anger. But there are plans being made now to organize a march to Tallahassee, the state capital of Florida. Um, so I've heard some plans of a march uh, coming together for a march on Washington by youth. Uh, there are also around the country calls for walkouts of school um, in this coming week, not just in Florida, but in other states um, that we're finding. So it does seem to be a little bit different this time because the kids in high school feel comfortable speaking for themselves. All right. Jason Deeran of the Associated Press joining us via Skype just outside the high school in Florida. Thanks so much. Thank you.